Hey guys, it's your boy Legendary Pet here. Today I will be making a Joker guy. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you guys want me to do next. And yeah, let's get into the video. All right, let's go into Joker's main perks. His main perks is honestly, this is just a go to no matter if you're playing ones or twos. Basically, you this card does it's like at random you'll get a kill card, and when you get a kill card, it does a lot of damage knockback. You, doesn't, you can't really control when you get it, but this is the one I would definitely go. The blue one, don't even look at this. This isn't a perk. 5% is really good, but it's not as good as like the kill one. So like, just always go with the kill one. All right, guys. So now let's get into perk one. Perk one, I would use Snowball. I wouldn't really use anything else. Um, You don't need this projectile block one because you have Flower, which we'll get into. Flower destroys all projectiles because it considers itself a projectile. Mm. You could try flammable uh, Thermite. Thermite is pretty good because every time you hit someone with a projectile, you do some extra damage, which is car, uh, you know, your cards. But honestly, I would just use this. I think this one's just the best one. Uh, Snowball's really good. Like, I think this is just a go-to perk for almost every character. Not really an option for other ones. For the second perk, I personally like Speed Force just because I like to be a little bit faster. And kind of just like to react. This way I'm able to react faster with up tilting and stuff that's running across. But you could kind of go with a good amount of perks. You could go with Speed Force. You could go with uh, Too Fast, which is basically if someone's using Wonder Woman, your dash attack having armor break while having one of the best uh, dash attacks is really, really good. So I would kind of rotate between these two. But you could also go with Last Stand and you could go with Airwalker. I think it kind of goes by preference, so preference is this is if you play Wonder Woman or you play against a Wonder Woman. Speed Force and Last Stand is what you prefer, and if you really want to go for your combo and you're really confident on getting your hits, Airwalker is pretty good. Because you could go into a whole bunch of stuff, which I'll end up selling it. I, and I know I don't have it, but I have tested it in the lab, so I'll show you some stuff with it later. But yeah, honestly, I prefer Speed Force, but you can never go wrong with Speed Force, Airwalker, Last Stand. Uh, yeah, this is really good. And for the third perk, honestly, just use Pug. Pug is just the best one. You do more damage while, you know, meleeing people. Never bad. Guard Crust is pretty good against Wonder Woman. I don't think you really need it because you have Flower and you probably have Dash Attack on. So you don't really need it. But if you really just want to charge it there, like your fate, your falling back says, then you can use it. And that's pretty good. Other than that, I wouldn't use any one of these other perks. But yeah, so that those are the perks I think you guys should be running into Joker. So let's get into uh, his game plan. All right, for his game plan, there is a several a good amount that you could do. You could backline a lot and kind of go in after your partner if you are playing twos, and keep throwing your cards here and there and the side being in or jabbing in. If you're playing ones, I think his best game plan is kind of just moving around and trying to get you confirmed off a jab. Because you do get a combo off of it, so, you know, I'll show the combo later on, but... And jab is really, really good. Just moving on jab, just because it goes very, very far. And he has the furthest jab in the game. So, right here, it would hit. No other jab could reach you here. So, you could do stuff like dodge and jab, and this does. This is really fast, kind of unreactable at the time. So, kind of, you kind of just want to almost always use your, your cards off a of cooldown. Just because you get them so frequently, it's, it's about, like, 5 seconds, I think. You get your cards, so five, five to six, seven seconds, which is basically it's really fast. Like, yeah, you got your tail, I already have it. You can also switch your cards a little bit if you hit them away, depending on which one you want. Uh, the spade is basically three cards. The diamond is I'll show you really quick. It is a card that attaches to them, and it is a bomb. And the heart is honestly, I like to call this one battering because it follows you. Oh, never mind, I got a bomb card. So let's go back to it. Okay, so he's just battering. So basically, it just follows me around. It does have a duration, but it only has a hitbox coming back. So if you're playing Joker, most of the time, you want to just be throwing your cards, being a little bit annoying, and staying on the ground, just so you could go into your combo. And if you're chasing people, I would use side B if you want to overcommit, as in, like, just move forward. So if someone's just running away like this, side B is pretty good. Dodge jab is really good. Uh, honestly, flower is really good if you want to. If someone's throwing projectiles, make sure to use flower. This is a really good matchup where people have projectiles, you just destroy them. Armor, really good. 
These stuff is someone has armor, you always want to run around, run back to this, you can go into them, kind of unpredictable. This is just really, really good. But yeah, that's kind of hit the game plan with Joker. We just want to be kind of annoying, just running around, making them impatient, jabbing them, side being them, you know, destroying armor, like dash attack. Dash attack is also really good if someone's running away because it goes really far, also low profiles. But yeah, let's get into uh, Joker's grounded buttons. Alright, Joker's grounded buttons. As we were going over, jab just really, really good. Up tilt is probably one of his best things. Up tilt also sometimes combo into up air. Uh, if you reverse it, you almost always get it. So reversing is just hitting it back, uh, backwards, as you can see. Uh, let me just do it like this. This will combo into up air, which is really, really good. Uh, this is just really good. It has a kind of a hitbox, like the hitbox is very high above his head. So you kind of won't get hit out of it. This is also the same as his up air, but we'll get into the air no more than a bit. Jab really, really good. Dash attack. Probably one of the best dash attacks in the game. I would say it's definitely top three dash attack. It's basically just a slide that goes very far. It's active the whole way. And it also low profile. So let's say Saggy is jabbing. I will go under his attack while also hitting him. It's also really good for people that are trying to outspace you and running away. Uh, just in case you're doing, you know, stuff like that. Um, flower. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, not flower. This is a counter. It's a parry. So if someone hits you while you're doing it, you will end up hitting them. I really w wouldn't recommend this move a lot, but it is a move he has. I would kind of just go for parry myself. But if you aren't confident on your parry, then you like this move better. Then you could use this. Alright, I will say this move is probably the worst move in the... Uh, oh, not this one. Uh... Okay, then we have Teeth. So Teeth is actually a thing that goes into one of his aerials. So basically, if you hold it, it just charges it more and it makes it more active. And it's your haha meet at the end. You don't have to use it right away. So this is really good for sometimes leads, you know, leads guarding and stuff like that. Just because it stays there. Uh, this is also pretty good at ledge guarding. It's his side B on the ground. It is good just because, like, you know, it hits at an awkward angle. So like, if you see it right here. I go off stage, there's people camping right here. They're doing up B. Pretty good. Uh, balloon, up B. It, it basically, it has a hitbox. So if you do hit it, then you can also combo into up air off of it. Uh, the hitbox isn't as big as you would think. But it does combo into up air, which is really, really good. Alright, this move, I'm sorry, what I was going to say earlier. This move is definitely the worst one. It's down special. So I would actually, I have never used this move. I have used it, but I use it so little it's like you would never see me use it. Maybe once out of like a hundred games and it'll be a misinput. That's how, that's how much I really don't like the move, but it's okay if you can find it, but I just don't think it's that good. So basically he has two versions of it. So if you hit uh, light, you do, you get the Joker one, which is, it has a little hitbox. Uh, I don't really think this one is whatever. Uh, this one is not that bad though. It's, it's a cannon. So if you hit medium, which is a uh, Y or triangle on your thing, it is a little cannon. It goes a little bit further. So I, I, I kind of just want to do this because I don't really see why we use this over jab. But it is a button he does have. So, you know, it's not that bad. Okay, so now let's get into Joker's area moves. Alright, for Joker's area moves, he has balloon, the same thing he has on the ground. It's, it works the same way as on one of the. Uh, on the ground if you hit them it also combos into upper it's pretty good for recovering so like say i'm going low I, it brings me back up and i can also drift with it so it's not really as bad as you would think so yeah you see i have a lot of drift with it a lot of momentum into it uh side b probably his best area move side b is really really good because at low percent it could combo into itself uh side b if you aim it a certain way so if you hold back a little bit, uh, you also get it to combo into up air. Uh, I just said on final hits, it's really good. Um, depending on DI, you don't always get it, but in higher percents, you don't always get it, but it's still really good. Like sometimes you can even dodge and get it into it, into up air, which is really, really good at higher percent. Just so you can get a kill option. Um, yeah, honestly, side B is probably the best move he has in his entire kit, not even only his aerials. You could drift with it a little bit back, as you guys can see. So, see how I don't go as far. You have a lot of momentum with it. You can hold forward, you go really far. 
You could hold down with it while doing it. You could hold down, then back up, so you kind of don't move that much. You can't go super up with it, depending if you go down at first, but you can't also aim up. As you guys can see, I am going up a bit, which is really, really good. Um, Flower. If you're playing against bugs and he has safe, rocket, you can destroy this. A lot of projectiles you're just allowed to destroy with Flower. It's also a guard break move. And it's just really good because you're able to retreat and guard break. You're able to move forward and guard break. Good against Shaggy. Good against Wonder Woman. It's also attached to your down tilt, which is your teeth. So if you jump out of your teeth and then you have the haha -ha meter, as you guys can see, this makes it go longer and it actually goes further. So, and then I'll just show you guys really quick. See, it doesn't really hit because it's not fully tried. It hits, but it's not putting knockback. So, just having haha -ha meter is really good. It makes it more active. It does more stuff. At lower percents, you could get actually a combo from it. Uh, but it's not as consistent. Like, But you can get something sometimes off of it. Uh, let me think. Did you... Okay, this move is really, really good. This combos into side B. Also combos into up air, depending on DI. Um, if you guys do not know what DI means, it means directional influence. So basically, if they're holding uh, away on the controller, say they're holding right and you have them in this combo, they will go right. So that's when you would do side B, which you kind of just have to react to. And the same way, if they hold left, they go left. Uh, this move is just really good. It's kind of just a combo tool. I wouldn't really use it too much, but uh, if you're not using it in combos, but it is sometimes pretty good just jumping like this and going in. Uh, down air. Down air combos into this move, so it's really, really good. So if you ever land on someone, you can do this and then follow their DI. Then do dive like up air. That, that's something I will show in the combo. Uh, but yeah, those stuff is just really, really good. Uh, those are all his aerial buttons, so now let's get into his combos. Alright, Joker combos. I will go for... Uh, I'm going to show you guys the best combo he has. But then after that, I'm going to show you a little bit less of the combos that aren't as good. But, you know, they're still pretty good. So, learning. Um, so, this one you want to do jab, jab. Two jabs. Then you want to do dodge jump. And you want to do down, down special. Down special is what we were doing earlier. And then once you do this... Oh, let me not mess it up. Let me not be bad. Down special, and then you do side air, and then you get up air. A nice 48%, which is really, really good. Uh, you don't always get it depending on the percent, as in, like, you won't always get the up air. But it is also really, really good. So as you guys can see right there earlier, we were talking about DI. That's the only reason my side beam is. If you kind of do have to react to the uh, dodge, but if you don't want to guess as much, and then, you know, if they're on top of you, you could just do up air and cut out the side beam. So that's another part of a variant of the combo. Uh, jab, jab, combos into up air, I mean up tilt. And if you could charge it a little bit. Uh, sometimes it does drop if you're too far, as you guys can see. But you guys can do jab, jab, dodge, up tilt, which is the reverse version of it. And then if you remember the reverse of it, oh, I mean I messed up. This also combos into another up air, just because reverse up tilt combo into on this stuff, so this is the same thing if you hit it. Uh, this one's a little bit harder to hit because the stacking is weird. Uh, let me see. So, right there, you guys can see, I really have to be stacked on them. That's the only time you're really gonna get it is if you dodge like this and then get into it. Um, another one of his combos, I, I kind of touched on it earlier. Sometimes it's combos, doesn't always combo, sometimes side B combos, but it's not really reliable. Um, as you guys see right there, they don't really combo, so. I really want to use anything after flower. After that, I would kind of just go for a read, whether it's them dodging after it, or just doing side B, because you know they won't dodge. Uh, side B can also combo into itself sometimes. Uh, so depending on the DI and stuff, and holding back, you could get it. So if you did side B, and hold side B, and then you do up air, that will also combo sometimes. Uh, balloon always combos into up air, Oop. whether you're on the ground or in the air. So you just, you just have to not be bad like I am. Uh, down air always combos into this. We kind of saw that in the combo. 
Man, that, that's kind of almost all of Joker's combos. His other stuff are kind of just reads that you will get when they go to side B. And then if they dodge forward, they can get another side B. But yeah, these are all Joker combos. So now let's get into a game. All right, now we're into the gameplay. Right now we are playing against a Jason. So right now I'm going to try and just stay grounded and kind of go for my jab. So I'm also kind of annoying him with my cards at the moment. Uh, but I am also playing very reaction based because you also kind of want to just realize where they're going with their DI and everything. So, you know, right here, I'll just throw my card out. Uh, dash attack into up to see how, how far his jab goes. And I see him DIing right. So I kind of just follow him with my card right there. My jab, I mean, my battering, you know, is really, really good. It's brought him into me with you. Let me get my jab. Uh, like I said, sometimes if someone is, if you're approaching, whoa. I forgot his perk. <laughs> He's just gonna die. Ah, uh, yeah. Side B is just really good for chasing someone. Um, if you think sometimes, sometimes recovering. You see, he dodged out. I thought he was having. Uh, my bad. Sorry for saying us so much. Sometimes it's a little bit harder doing it in playing. But yes, if I think they're dodging out, I will kind of do side B a lot. Just, just cause the chase is it really good. And I can also just do it. Um, just following them. Like if they dodge in. It kind of just covers everything, which is really, really good. Kill card, as you can see. If that was any other character besides Jason, he would just die. Just fill up some of my haha -ha meter. Oh, my bad. Okay, we throw some more cards. He whiffed, so now I punish him with jab. So I reacted to his dodge right there, following it. So now he has no dodges. If I ended up hitting him there, I, I kind of just won the game. So he's also like not as read heavy as Wonder Woman, but he's also a really good character just at reading. If you read someone, you will get him with a lot of up tails, a lot of side beads. Uh, so he tried to hit back right there instead of do, uh, dodging. So that also reads that option. But yeah, uh, Joker is just really good. If you go from following someone, reading their DIs, uh, how they're moving, and their draft, like you kind of could play the ground game and the air game really good. But yeah, if you guys like this video, and you guys haven't already, like I said earlier, make sure to like this video, comment down below. I'll see you guys on the next video.